Hello, Taurus. Guess what? It's time for your mid-October to begin in November read for this current year. 2019. Boom. Check it out. This is my brand new... What's it called? Bl dark Mirror. Or I called it Black Mirror earlier, but I'm, I don't keep calling it Black Mirror. Fuck it, but it's Dark Mirror. Dark Mirror Oracle Deck. Got this today, and we're going to start incorporating it into the Zodiac, so we're going to pick one for you. That's going to be your vibration, and we will go on to the rest of the reading. Now, Taurus, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If it resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. Right? Right. Also, if you want a personal read, all the information is down below in the description box after the music ch channel listings. Newcomers, first readings on the house, everyone else, and those who already had one, everything else comes with a price, and I too take tips and donations. Thank you kindly in advance. Also, cross watch your switch where you need to. I take everything that's yours and leave the rest with a pound of salt, because I'll probably get shit wrong, but that's okay. Alright, so, your card, Calling the Storm, number 30, Ew. Let's see, number 30, I got a book. This thing is, like, so interesting. Alright, Calming the Storm, the moon phase, third quarter, half moon. The stage is bargaining. Like, the, like this is almost like this deck almost is like the um, five stages of death. So this is a bargaining, calling the storm. Right? That's kind of scary. Power comes not from inside, but from connection and integration to a greater whole. With the visual seed, a shaman woman wears an antler hat, dressed in crimson and brown and holds her crow-headed staff to a storm. Autumn leaves spiral out of control around her as the whirlwind shakes the world. Her sentence is pull and release, push to the limit. Limit! Alright, that, that last one was like an ad lib, but I digress. Push to the limit. The eye is the only peaceful place that can be. When going dark, there is a time to find and release our power. Like a spring that had been compressed to the point it had lost the memory of motion and movement. Yet, there is power inside it. Finding it is called empowerment. It starts from the belief in our power, in our ability to cope, to fight, to endure, to overcome, to, to overcome a challenge. My apologies, I messed that up. However, too often we are encouraged to see empowerment as something that happens only within, in our psychological space. We are not necessarily islands. We can borrow the power of the world around us, the context, the environment, the expectations. We do not control the storm, we just call it. To call the storm, we need not to fear it. And this is what will make us strong. After the storm, there is always sun, so... If the sky has been gray for too long time, for too long time, what? If the sky had been has been gray for too long time, shouldn't it be too long a time or too long of a time? I don't know. It's whatever. I'm changing it. If the sky has been gray for too long of a time, it's time. Whoever wrote this, it's kind of like I don't like their English. I don't, I don't like I don't like their grammar. I don't know. I'm being the Capricorn right now. Uh, if the sky has been gray for too long of a time, then it's time not to fear the storm, but to embrace it. It will grow up and devour our chains and our jailers, and it will hurt us as well. But it will be healthier than just staring, just stare at, a chill, at the chilly rain. How about just staring at the chilly rain? This, okay, this book is art. This is gonna, this book's gonna drive me nuts. It will be healthier than just staring at the chilly rain. We can restart only after we let ourselves end. Okay, so... That's your vibration, Taurus. Two seconds, I gotta go grab my coffee cup and then we will set.
Okay, Taurus. Sorry about that. I just needed to grab my coffee because I just made a new cup. Because it's delicious. Alright, let's go on with your spread. Right? Right. So, what's the first card? Or first few cards. Whatever. That works, man. We have the High Priestess Reverse. Someone's got some secrets or they're getting some downloads. Um, possibly about a Cancer since we got the cherry reverse or about a situation where someone can't move forward and people might be acting a little bit more hostile than what was necessary. This might not even be known to you, actually, Taurus. Your thoughts and feelings are like you can't make a decision, per se. And the root of that is because, like, you don't feel like you have any options to choose from or the options aren't good enough for you. So that's probably why you're calling the storm. Ooh, Taurus, like, shiver me timbers. Yeah, it is. these cards are pretty nifty. I like them. I like them a lot. I think Black Mirror would have been better, but maybe people would have gotten confused with the television show. Both of them, because they were two different shows. But... Alright. Let's see. Then we got the Eight of Cups right here. Reverse. Hmm. It's like you or your cross-watcher wants to reject... This over here, this indecision, but something's holding your back, and it's something to do with a secret. Something that possibly you can't move away from or fight against. Um, here's another two. There's three twos. Oh, yeah, we're doing this again. Aries had, like, threes everywhere. It was ridiculous. All right, so uh, you're upside down, so every time you dig a hole, an onion falls out and hits you right in the face like a baseball bat, and then you gotta sit there and cry. Um... In this case, you really don't know what to do. It's just like, I need to dig this hole so I can take a shit, but I keep getting hit in the face with onions and it hurts a lot. And it's just like, dude, you're going to get hit with shit too. If that's how gravity works. But, like, you're in decisions to the point where, like, you're really not sure how to handle the situation. Like, you dig in the earth so you don't have to fall off of the earth, yet every time you dig, there's an onion that punches you in the face and is, like, pulling you away. Possibly from a happily ever after or family situation, Taurus. One of the two. Hmm. You want some of this coffee, baby? Yeah. I got it over here. Let's see. So, Taurus. We got the high priestess over here. She might be gotten some secrets. She might be getting some, like, downloads from the universe or whatever you kids call it now in the days. Something. There's, like, a blockage somewhere, like, an entity that was connected to you. Taurus or cross watchers. Mmm. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, that was different. Let's see. Mm. It's almost like a spirit went somewhere or something. Or maybe there was no reaching out because someone decided to take their travels elsewhere <coughs> to get married. Like someone didn't communicate they were getting married. Oh my, I can only imagine what that means. Or someone was expecting communication about traveling in order to get married or something like that. Or just the union in general. It could have even been with a Gemini in some cases, Taurus and Crosswatcher. Alright, Cherry Reverse on here. Could be a Cancer involved as well. You are... You or your person is either really confused about how to move forward, really guarded about their feelings to the point where, like, they're being kind of a dick. You know. They cause somebody to walk, run away, or walk away inadvertently while trying to obtain a victory. And this caused the separation. Once again, that Gemini energy with the love was reversed. It's also going to be someone decided um, not to take an option, like an ultimatum almost, you know? It was like someone drove somebody to the point where it's just like, you know what, fuck this, I'm, I'm, I'm done. 
And someone released themselves from the prison that, that was being kept. Or what kept them in it, anyway. Let's see. Back on top. Yeah, look, like, here's the lovers again. Like, someone kind of wants to um, offer an apple to another. But they're kind of drunk, and it's not that good of an apple. In fact, it's probably muddy water they got from the river after they fell off the horse when they were drunk. Because they drank, because they kind of drank the wine that they were supposed to give you. Like, this chick is offering her apple, like, here, this is my offering to you for our vows. And dude's like, um, you're not a cop, or you? Like, oh, like, not, like, he consumed his own shit and then, like, went ahead and, like, brought some other stuff. It's like fell over, he's being dragged on his horse by the horse because he fell off. He went to a river, he stirred up some dirt, just being like, oh, well, this is the same color. You know? Let's see. Down here at this chariot reverse, though, like, someone is not making an offering here. Mainly because they gotta spend their money on, like, dealing with some bugs and they're kind of acting like they didn't know that was going to happen but but they did they were just like you know acting like they didn't have it's almost like they didn't i'm sorry i can't do this quiet i know that's fine that's fine let's see So, yeah, this person knew. It's like, um, okay, let's say they were going to offer you the booty, right? That booty might have something that you're going to have to go to the doctor for. And they might act like, you know, oh, well, I didn't know that that was actually a thing. Well, they, they fucking knew. It's the high priest. She's reversed this time. Um. Uh, and the, it's like the information got out without her realizing it was going to get out. And she's just like now pretending that like she didn't know anything. But in reality, we all know she knew. We all know she knew. We all know. Okay. The thoughts and feelings with the two of swords. Reverse. Let's see. Sorry about that. My husband's a Leo. So, I should have known that, like, that was going to happen. Because he does that. Oh, no, usually he's pretty good. It's just today he's decided because it's raining to clean the house. So, he's kind of noisy today. My apologies. Anyway. Two of Swords, Reverse. What's this? What's this? Their thoughts and feelings, they don't want to come to some sort of choice. But it's like, you manifested this... You brought this in with fate, shadow side, the wheel of fortune, right? But the high priestess once again, shadow side, reverse this. Someone just wants to pretend that they can ignore their intuition and it won't come out of the pool like the thing thing from like that movie, the thing. Mmm. To the point where, like, someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith because they have no idea where the fuck they're going. It's like, this was manifested. You're calling the storm, you know what I mean? And it's like, you don't want to make a choice in this situation, but you kind of have to because you kind of called it in. Like, for fuck's sake, you're wearing antlers on your head. It's kind of too late, man. You know? Um... But it's like, you're so worried about this choice or this destination that you've come to make that um, you're ignoring your intuition on where you should take your leap in order to go, you know? So the two of pentacles reverse. There might be an angry, angry um, king of wands, possibly Leo, Sag, Aries. He's reversed, acting like a man child. He's like waving his stick like, if you don't do what I'm not, 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 not. You know that kind of stuff he's just um uh, kind of being on people's um trying to step on their toes 
trying to assert his rule when, you know, he's just a king. There's plenty of kings. He's not the king. He is just a king. He has peers, but he acts like he doesn't, you know. And that shit is not going to work in his favor. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Like, whatever it is, it worked for him before, I feel like, but it's not going to work this time. In fact, it might stall him out with another eight. All right. Thoughts and feels up top. Two of swords. Reverse. Ah. Let's Nice phone. All right, let's look. Um, this indecision, despite it, there's still going to be a new beginning that comes about. Someone's gonna get a brand new baby iguana, and they get to raise that all on their own and teach it how to whip people with its tail. You know. However, this new beginning is stemmed from the fact that um, someone drove them to it. You know. Taurus or Crosswatch or somebody you couldn't meet eye to eye with and they drove you away and that's what caused you to go to this new beginning like you couldn't make the decision yourself they had to like kind of be the catalyst in order to get you to do that actually with the two of wands reverse there's a lot of twos for you guys today let's see damn damn in the roots of the feelings someone wants to cut call to heaven Someone wants to get called to heaven. Someone wants to be one of the chosen. Somebody wants to be saved. No. <laughs> no, that's not happening. Okay. Um, three of swords reverse. I feel like heaven just dropped those swords on their heart. Or, this person you're possibly dealing with, Taurus and Cross Watchers, they, I feel like, want to be, like, the chosen person. And it's like, as soon as they are chosen, they will drop swords onto your mending heart, heart just to puncture it all over again. That's how this card kind of makes me feel anymore. It's like, these call, these um, are getting called to heaven for anything, um, whatever it may be. I always feel like people are trying to drop it a little bit to start some shit again. But also, this could also mean that... um. Maybe somebody's soul went to peace and it's taking those swords with it so this heart can heal com completely. You know, stuff like that, right? So that could be a situation. But I'm not sure. It's really for you to decide. It's one of those, you know? So we got the Eight of Cups over here. Oh, that's three eights. Yay. Someone wants to walk away, but that one cup just keeps them back. Has something to do with this over here, right? There's, once again, a new beginning. There is a new beginning. There, it, like this, I think it, you're trying to, um, yeah, you're, you might be trying to walk away from this new beginning you kind of ushered in, Taurus. You know, maybe you feel as though it won't be as fulfilling as you think it is, but you kind I feel like you kind of, like, you're calling the storm, so you're kind of, like, pulling this out yourself. You're creating this to happen. Then once again with this two of wands where already they're both reversed. So this is like someone possibly digging up these onions to cry over the scenario that's already come to be. This indecision right here. There's something nasty delivered with the three of pentacles. Someone's delivered something nasty. It was an R. Kelly package, right? In order to almost mock or... Um, use somebody to demonstrate their own strength with the strength card. It could possibly definitely be a Leo. Or maybe it's somebody trying to deliver something to a Leo. I don't know. But this has also caused the person who was a very strong, lively person to um, feel as though they don't want to wait for the person on the outside anymore. When the out person on the outside got comfortable, that's when they decided, you know what, I need to start getting comfortable myself. There's no point in, like, waiting for somebody. He's gonna send me shit to make me feel stupid, right? 
Then we got the Ten of Cups down here. Happily ever after, family picture, portrait, whatever. Um, emotional completeness. Um, it's almost looking for a reason to stay, but that's because like they're kind of cramped up a little bit. They're like there's nowhere else to go or whatever. Which is weird because you got the Eight of Cups up there. It's like where where'd you go? You know, there might even be somebody in the dark who is not the best provider as well. King of Pentacles reverse. He might even be a little bit of a mooch. Um, and there might need to be a break taken for us in Cross Watchers. This eight of cups reverse. There's the hanged man reverse, and then the five of pentacles once again. Yeah, that's like this person and this person are almost the same one because they do have the same color clothing on. But it's like this bitch was poor, but now she's like not no more. Now she just sits there, not even worried about who else is out there. Like, and you can see that she's got her friends there too. But it's almost like the people and her friends who surrounded her. We're almost the ones that were keeping her stagnant to begin with from moving forward. It's like, it had to come to that realization, you know, like, hey, um, maybe I should just leave despite the fact that you all are watching me and asking questions, you know? Let's see. Two ones reversed. Things might not have come together the way you had planned. In fact, it might have, like, lost a cast or two for the play. And now there are people who are coming and saying that, like, you don't have to do much of anything at all. Well, I don't, I don't know if I should listen to that, though. Like, things didn't come together, and now people are coming to tell you you can back down and shit? What the hell is that all about? Because up here, it's like the people are telling, are the ones that are keeping you back. The people are the ones in the background you're getting away from, and mind you. You're inside nice and toasty eventually after this series of events happen. Not worried about anybody else. So why is some why are people coming up telling you you need to let something go? That's my question. Let me see. One well, more on that one, because like that doesn't make any sense. Why are people coming up to tell you one thing when you're all over the damn floor? Well, there's that. Because they think what you're saying is wrong, Taurus. That's actually your card. They think that what you're preaching is, um... Mm. What the... Oh, that was the stereo. Mm. Let's see. Oh, that sounds like... Weird sound. Okay. Yeah, it's like, um... It's almost like they want to use your bullshit against you. Like, whatever it is you preach, they want to be like, Ah, you're going against your own shit. And then you gotta sit there and look like, Am I living by my own sword? But, it, but it, for me, it's like... It's the people in the background who are the ones who are feeding you to keep you on the tree longer than what you need to. And those are the ones you're trying to move away from. Why are they coming up saying that you're not living by your own code? After you done left them. That's what I'm confused about. All right, down below with this Ten of Cups, you know. Um, there might be a realization that someone sets you up to try to make it, try to look like a hero in your eyes. And you're, and you're blindfolded. But you know it's them. And it's just like, I can hear your voice and I know it's you. You couldn't even, like, put a sock halfway in your mouth to muffle the sound of your voice. Mm. They might have done this. Yeah, they're trying to play to your morality a little bit, Taurus, which is like, that's stupid. I mean, like, the Hierophant is literally a priest, and that's like Taurus's card, so I'm not sure what the fuck, you know. But it's like, they came in here, tied you up, and now we're coming acting like they're gonna save your life, and you already know 
That they're trying to choke a lion out. They they look at you as an animal and they think that you need to be choked to death. Just be like too much of a bear hog, like her, you know. I'd be very careful with this Taurus. Like there is a storm being called for sure. Um but I also feel like, you know, with your hesitation and what it is you're calling, it's going to, um, like, maybe you're purposely hesitating with what's being called, right? Maybe you're kind of, um, worried about how all this shit's gonna come out. Like, you don't know the ending, you don't know the beginning, you're scared of, like, you're a Taurus, so change is just not your shit. Like, you literally have a priest or a bishop as your, um... Ar major arcana card, you know, shit like that. However, I feel like there's going to be a manifestation of your hesitation in the forms of people um, watching you try to leave the old ways behind, um, understanding that them and how they kept you at a crossroads is no longer working. No longer listening to anybody who tells you you can put your fucking sword down because the shit just don't add up. And it's the fact that they're using what you believe against you that pisses you off the most. And then it kind of makes you realize, oh, you're trying to fuck me up in order to put me down. Bitch, what the hell, you know? But, that's what I got for you, Taurus. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, but I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.